It's hard to find a project that's more straightforward than a candle holder. At its heart, it's essentially just drilling a hole into something. I'm going to use this piece of walnut to make a matching pair of candle holders, so I'll mark a line halfway and saw it into two pieces. But I don't want these to be just plain old blocks of wood with holes in them, so I'm going to elevate the design with some simple chiseling. This particular piece of wood is not perfectly square, but it's pretty close, and that's fine for making rustic candle holders. Once I have things cut in half, I'll mark the center point on one end. Then I can drill in with a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit, which is a pretty standard size for candlesticks. The important thing with a Forstner bit is to take it slow and take frequent breaks in hardwood like walnut. The bit can easily heat up to the point where it will dull itself. With the 3 quarter inch holes drilled, it's time to give these blocks of wood some visual interest. I'm going to mark a line that goes around the piece a quarter inch up from the bottom and slice it in. Then at the top of all four sides I'm going to make two marks. This wood is approximately an inch and a half square, so I'll put the marks half an inch in from each edge. Then I'll slice a line from the mark down to the bottom corner. When that's done, they look like this. I clamp the piece down and begin removing wood with the chisel. I start with the bottom portion, cutting in at a 45 degree angle and working my way to the line to give them a bevel all the way around the bottom. Now that these cuts are done on both pieces, I'm going to remove the wood from the sides. I'm trying to make slow, shallow cuts to keep things under control. Getting aggressive can pull your chisel in too far or cause the wood to unexpectedly split. I cut right to the line and make sure it disappears, then move on to the next side. After the chisel work is done, things are really taking on a nice faceted shape. Then it's time to sand. This piece of walnut already had a smooth surface, so it doesn't take much. I sand with 320 grit and call it a day. The edges around the top get shaped with sandpaper too. 
I only want to remove a little bit of material here, just enough to add a small chamfer. And that does it for the shaping. But we're not done yet. Both of these candle holders are going to get some carvings. On one side, I draw a simple leaf. Then using a small V-tool, I can carefully carve the lines into the wood. There's a lot of controlled pressure in my hands as I'm doing this. It's easy for the tool to slip or go too far and carve a line where you don't want one, so a firm but gentle touch is needed. Any rough spots are cleaned up with a small file. On the other one, I make a slightly different leaf. Sort of a mirror image, but I don't want them to match exactly. I accidentally made a small nick outside of one of my lines, so I removed it with some quick sanding. With everything sanded and the leaves carved, these candle holders are ready for some oil. I picked up a little sample of a flaxseed oil finish to try out. It's non-toxic, low odor, and even food safe. I applied a very generous amount, let it soak in for a while, then I wiped off the excess. And these candle holders are done. I think the design turned out to be effective, especially when combined with the deep richness of the walnut. My little leaf carvings counterbalance the geometric shape, but the natural beauty of the wood is really the star of the show. All that's left to do is find some candles and test them out. Thanks for watching.